in this video I wanted to see if I could take some mint tins and make a torch from it. So if we take a look at the base of this tin we can see that the metal base is just rolled under the edges there. So I'm just going to take a, a screwdriver in the middle and just give that a sharp knock. There we go. The next thing to do is to make an insert to go in the top. So I've got a 3D printer, so I've printed out something that's about the same shape as the top of the tin with a groove along the side and that groove will fit in to the rolled top there. You can easily make this out of a piece of wood if you want and then just cut a, a little edge along there. I'm going to use some white LEDs and what I've done is I've got a countersink hole in here so that I can put the LED in there and it will come and stick out the top and it will stop and won't go any further. I'll leave links to the insert in the description. Next, if I take the long positive lead of the LED and place that in a breadboard if I take my variable resistor set to 47 ohms just connect that to the positive lead and then to another hole adjacent and then take the negative lead there put it onto negative rail and take the other end of the resistor and place that into the positive rail and then take three and a half volts and just connect it up and then we see the LED lights it's not, these batteries are about the end of the life so it's not glowing as brightly and if I take a, a fresh set equivalent from my power supply and connect up 3.2 volts then that glows a bit brighter. If you'd like an easy way to calculate how to wire up your LEDs I'll put a link to the description to this site here so you just enter the the battery voltage what the forward voltages of your LEDs put in what current you want to run your LEDs at and how many LEDs you've got and it will draw the diagram along with the resistor values to use. Here I was using two 1.5 volt batteries that when new put out about 1.6 to 1.7 volts each. So that's putting a value there for 3.4 for the two of them. I was using some white LEDs and my particular ones had a forward voltage of about 2.6 volts. And I wanted to run them at 20 milliamps to get the full brightness out of them while the batteries were strong and then it would just get dimmer over time. Next I want to take some 47 ohm resistors and connect that up to the positive lead of the LED. So I'm just going to take this positive lead and snip it a bit shorter. And the, LED, the resistor and snip that a bit shorter. So the easiest way I've found to wrap the LED and resistor wires together is just to place the resistor wire on top and use a pair of pliers just to hold it and then you can just wrap that around like so next you want to put the LEDs into your holder just to make it easier to solder and then just flow some solder onto each of those joints which is easier said than done when you've got shaky hands like me so now it's a good idea just to check that it's still lighting so just take the battery positive lead to there and negative lead to there next thing to do is to put five LEDs in where they're finally going to go sticking out the ends there I've just put a bit of white tack in there to hold them in place and then the next thing is just to take a piece of wire 
and I've just created a loop on the end so that I can put it over the last one and then I'll just use a bit of white tack to secure that and what I'm going to do is just to join all these negative wires together so I'll just solder each one of those Next I'll just take this wire and I'll just bend that around like so Then I'll insert the other LEDs with the negative leads pointing into the middle And now we just do the same for the other five negative legs of the LEDs Next, what you want to do is to cover all the resistor positive leads with some shrink wrap tubing. So we just place that over there, all the way down to the base of the LED. At this point it's probably a good place to check, so just check each of the LEDs are still lighting like so. And then we just want to apply some heat to the shrink wrap tubing and then just repeat that on the other side. Once you've done that you then want to snip off the ends of the negative leads. So just with a pair of flush cutters just snip them off and just do that for each of those. Next I'm just going to drill out the side of the tin for a little switch. Then I'll just file off any rough edges and just file it down to the final size Ok so now the switch fits in place nicely Next I'm going to solder a, a wire to the middle of the switch Then I'll pop a bit of heat shrink over the positive lead of the, the battery and connect that to one of the terminals on the switch. Then I'll just shrink the, the wrap. Then we take all the positive leads from the LEDs and just twist them together with the positive lead of the switch. Okay, before we put it on, we'll put on a, a bit of heat shrink. Then we'll add a bit of shrink wrap over the black lead from the battery and then we'll solder that onto here. And we'll just snip the excess off of that. And then I'll just apply the heat shrink. Yep, I don't think that bit's doing anything, I think I'll just cut that bit off. So just before assembling, I'll just check that's still working. Cool. Um, also, a bit tight for space, so we'll need to um, bend these wires as flat as possible.
I'm just going to make sure the LEDs are pushed through. Okay, so that's all the LEDs popped out. And that's sitting in its holder. So the battery box will just fit in like that. And next we need to install the switch. So, I think what I want to do is to just bend these wires sideways like that. Just hold that temporarily. Oh, it's going to be a tight squeeze. These wires down the back or the side because I'm going to need as much space as possible down there and then squeeze that closed. Really got to squeeze that in. So now I'll just apply a bit of hot melt glue to the side of the switch. Okay, so here's the finished torch. So we'll switch on the side. Battery goes in there. LEDs on the top and the moment of truth. So it's still daylight in here, but if I just turn it off then, that's with the uh, batteries that are uh, nearly gone dead and that's it with a fresh set of batteries Cheerio!